Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Um, this is Arlita Lisa Washington. Many of you know me as Beauty Boss Lisa. And um, to, I just want to first of all say I really appreciate everyone who joins me live to tonight. I might not be able to stop and say hi to everybody individually. And I know most of my viewers watch on replay. So I want to also say that I appreciate the replay watchers and just request that you drop a, an emoji or a hi or comment of some um, sort in the comment section. So I will know that you have, um, have taken a, a peek at what I have to say. So again, thanks for joining me. So I'm going to jump right into it. Um, I want to start by um, telling a little story, and then I have an apology and a promise to make, okay? So we'll go from there. All right, so um, let's start by with the story. Um, if uh, you've been following me at all, you know that I love to do um, early morning shopping, five in the morning, four in the morning. That's when I, I do my best shopping. And uh, but sometimes I have to go to the store in the middle of the day or, you know, crowded rush time. So yesterday was one of those times. Um, you also know that I love to shop at Sam's. So my I my husband had called me. Uh, he's a trucker. He had called me from the road a couple of times last week. He was like, did you go to Sam's yet? And I was like, no, not yet. And so he's like, babe, you better get in there. <laughs> this looking crazy out here. And I just wasn't paying that much of attention. So yesterday he called, he was like, babe, you haven't gone to Sam's? And I was like, no, but I'll go now. So I hop in the car about five o'clock yesterday and I go to Sam's and I am in shock. I mean, there is um, so many people there. There's no parking, there are no carts. There's a line to get in the door. And when I get in the door, People are running with carts, bumping into each other, shoving, grabbing multiples of everything. And the place was almost empty. I mean, literally, I, I, I've never seen anything like it. The place was almost empty. I only went for two things, toilet paper and paper towels, which I always get there anyway. So um, I came home and I said, you know what? I ordered from Amazon so because I do that sometimes too. Um, I found toilet paper on Amazon for over $3,000 for a 20 roll pack, same size I get at Sam's, $3,000. So I said, no. Um, and so, um, and there were no paper towels to be had. So um, my husband came in off the road and I said, you know what, babe? Why don't we get up early in the morning and we're going to do like a double strike. You go to the Sam's warehouse near us and I'm going to go to the one further out and let's get there an hour before they open and get in line and see if there's anything to be had. You know, again, paper towel and tissue. So um, we do that and I get there at a few minutes after six this morning and there is, I'm like number five in line. Before that warehouse opened an hour later, there were a hundred people in line. And when he called me from the other one, he said he was number 50. <laughs> I guess those people got there at five. He was number 50 in line at six something in the morning. And um, there were over a hundred people in line with him. So um, I did get into the, to the, to the warehouse and I grabbed my Scott tissue, which the brand I love. I grab my select a size paper towel and I um, start back toward the, the register. No one else is at the register because everybody is in the warehouse grabbing everything that's not nailed down. So anyway, I get um, to the register and there is a group of cashiers around having a story. So um, I, I'm just nosy and um, so another lady comes over and joined the group um, as the, the cashier is checking me out. She says, what were you telling everybody else? And this is the story um, is the reason why I'm on here tonight. The cashier goes on to say um, that they had to take her off the register yesterday because she was having a moment. What happened was a young lady came in with three little kids, a single mom with three little kids. The single mom waited and got her in line and got up to the cashier and she said to the cashier, I don't have enough money to pay for all of this. I went to the regular stores 
but they were all out. And everything in here is so big and so large in, in large quantities that I don't have enough money to pay for it all. Is there a manager available who might be able to approve a discount for me? So this single mom is asking the cashier this. She gets on the walkie talkie, calls for a manager and a floor manager shows up. The floor manager says, I, I don't have the authority to do that. Why don't you get out of line so that the rest of these people who were getting really antsy can, can get checked out and I'll see if I can find the store manager for you. So, okay, I'm having a moment. So um, out of the blue, someone back in the line steps up to the cashier and says, don't make her get out of line. I'll pay for it. And the, 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 the young mom with the three kids who were scared and terrified, you, um, the cashier said you can tell the three kids were scared and terrified. So um, the mom says, well, I have some money. And the patron, the generous patron said, no, 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 don't, don't you keep your money for your, for your children. I'll just pay for this. And the young mom was so grateful that she burst into tears which made their already scared and upset kids burst into tears, which made the cashier burst into tears. And hence, that's why all the other ones were over there this morning asking her about the situation yesterday. Anyway, the cashier said that she was a single mom herself. And she said it just really just gutted her to see this woman in there with three kids and not enough money to pay for food because there was nothing on the in regular size at the regular grocery store and she didn't have enough money to pay for the big sizes they sell in there. And so that story is the reason why I'm on here today because I realized, it made me realize something as I was driving home um, with my my two, <laughs> two products that I went in there to get. I realized that I, you know what, I have been maybe, I might want to say selfish, but a little negligent in that I have not shared my blessing with enough people. And that blessing is the business opportunity that I represent. Um, and I know it's not for everybody, but I couldn't help but think that, you know, there but for the grace of God went me, that, that single mom. At a time when I found direct sales, I had three little kids and had two more afterwards. So, oh my God, Tracy, hi. Um, Tracy is actually one of the people, the reason why I even you know, came into this business, uh, she had a party and her sister-in-law booked one from her and I went to her sister-in-law's party and then I booked one from her. So thank you, Tracy. <laughs> okay, so, um, so there's the story. Um, and I realized I don't get on here a lot, you know, really, I, I see some people on, they're on every day and they're talking about their business opportunity. And I think sometimes that maybe people think it's a bit much, but I realize that, you know what, if they, if they don't want to listen to it, they don't have to tune in. They can tune out or they can just not, not even tune in. They can scroll right past it. But for the people who need it, it's a disservice on my part, not to be, be, be shouting it from the rooftop. I know what the business did for me. I know what it did for my family. I know it changed my lifestyle and my life and many other people, thousands. I've had an opportunity to touch in the 26 years that I have been here. So, um, so my apology is I apologize for, you know, for robbing someone who might've needed this opportunity in an effort not to step on the toes of somebody who didn't want it. Okay. So that's my apology. <laughs> And I and I and I and and um I I and I apologize to the people who I'm not gonna do that anymore. So I'm gonna give an apology to the people who don't like it. I'm gonna say right now, I apologize that you don't like it, and I won't. And I pr I promise, I promise I won't be upset if you are in front of me. I won't. It's just not for you. It's okay. All right. <laughs> um, and then I also have a promise to the people who do to. Uh, decide to continue riding with me. I promise you, I won't be hiding my gifts under a basket. I won't be hiding my light. I won't be. Um, I'm really proud about the opportunity that I have. I'm really proud about what I represent. It's given me a darn good life. It's helped contribute to a darn good life. 
and it could make a difference in some other people too. So there you have it. Those are my apologies and my promise. I promise I won't be quiet. So, um, but I, if you don't want to watch, <laughs> if you don't want to watch, scroll right on by. I won't be mad. I promise I won't be mad. And if you unfriend me, I won't even be mad either. I still wish you the best. Okay. All right. So that's what I wanted to get this, this started with. And so um, if you haven't seen it yet, I, I, I reposted a video earlier this morning. I reposted a video from two years ago that I did two years ago. And that video is very pertinent right now. So I reposted it this morning. And if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. It's pretty short and it has some good information. There's a little technical difficulty in the last half. But if you just stick to it, <laughs> hi, sweetie, I love you too. That if you just stick to it, um, then you, you might find something in there that's beneficial or you might know somebody who would benefit from it. But I know that as a young um, mother with young children, um, this industry really save me, save me. Um, that's a pretty big word, but it, it is. And so I'm not going to talk about the direct sales in and multi-level marketing industry in this video, because I have one that I reposted this morning that does a beautiful good job of talking about that. So go back and listen to that. Okay. I think that biz, the industry stands alone. It stands on itself. It's a great industry. Okay, many, many perks. I could go on and on and on about it. So the direct sales multi-level marketing industry is a great industry. So again, earlier video. What I want to talk about today is why my company and why my team. Okay, so, so bear with me just for a few minutes if you don't mind. So I'm going to talk about um, first, why my company? And, and you know, three things. Um, the first one is stability. Um, my company is 64 years old, 64 years strong, okay? I know that in this economy, a lot of brick and mortar businesses are going away and a lot, some direct sales industry uh, businesses are going away too. Um, they just don't have the, what it takes to make it. They didn't have what, enough of whatever it was to, to get past the tough years. Those first few years are tough, tough, tough. So when you're looking at a 64 year old company, we've already gotten past all of that. Okay, we're in stability right now. All right, so 64 years strong and backed by a parent company that is 100 plus years strong, worldwide, global, global powerhouse, worldwide. So in, in that, I think it would alleviate some, some, some fears or that, you know, what if I throw my lot in with this company and it goes away? I don't think there's very much chance of that happening with this company. It's very well established. And as I said, deep pockets and a powerhouse, worldwide powerhouse. So that's why, one of the reasons why this company, the second reason why this company is because of the sub industry that is in cosmetics, which is another global powerhouse. Even when the, the economy hits the tank, People still have to take a bath. They need some shower gel. They still, if you, you know, you're white, you need some, some lotion to take care of that, what they call alligator skin. And if you're black, you need some oil to take care of that ashiness. That's not going to go away. As long as there are people walking around, you're going to need to take a bath and put some moisturizer on. So there you go. And as women, we have to wash our face. And I'm sorry, I don't want to wash my face with what I wash my backside in. So yeah, so people are going to need some facial cleansers and some moisturizer for your face. And then, of course, we want to smell good. So people are going to buy perfume until this big rock stops spinning. All right? Of course, and makeup, who doesn't like to look cute? Well, there are a few girls who don't want to look cute, but I'm thankfully am one of those. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and if you, um, so um, the, the, indus, the sub industry is a powerhouse. and it gets it gets a bigger. It's called the lipstick effect. It gets bigger as the economy gets worse. So that's another reason why my company, because of the cosmetic sub industry that is in, and then of course the third reason for my for my company is because of the culture and the community that this company is known for. I mean, the company um, is sixty four years old, but they keep us relevant. I mean, new products, new formulations new we keep on the cutting edge of what's new and fresh and relevant in the industries that we are in all right and and on top of that we have a culture of sisterhood and brotherhood that is hard to beat 
in and hard to find in some other companies and very hard to be. I know for a fact that there have been many women who don't make a dime off of me, who are poured into me. And I can promise you that there have been many, many people that I don't make a dime off and I have poured into them. Okay. And that will not stop. It was one of the cultures that the company was founded on and is one of our proudest um, cultures that we plan to take with us on into the future. So there you have it. Why the company? Because it's a, it's, it's a stable powerhouse and it's in a sub industry that is another powerhouse. So you got a double guarantee or double whammy. And of course, the, the community that you will find yourself in is second to none. All right. So why my team? So let me say that um, one thing is that you can trust me because I've heard the horror stories. Someone gets you to join their direct sales team and then they go away and they leave you there hanging and you're lost, you're floundering. Well, you know what? I've seen it happen and it does happen in every industry, but it, it's not going to happen with me. I'm here. I love what I do. I'm not going to go away because the company did something I didn't like or they made a change or they got rid of a product that I didn't like or they came up with a new product. You know what I'm saying? I've been here through the good, the bad, and the ugly. And you can that means that you can trust that I'm going to be here, okay? As long as this rock keeps spinning and I can get up out of bed or plug in a computer or pull my um, company site up on my cell phone, I will be here. And that's big in this industry because you don't want to put your hopes and dreams on someone who is a little flaky. You don't want to do that. All right, so that's why my team. Second reason why my team is you can count on me to get to help you get to where you want to go. Because I've been there and I know where you want to go. I, you, I will ask you where you want to go. And I've helped many other people. I've helped many, many people build a successful business. I've helped some people build six-figure incomes. Yes. As a matter of fact, I've helped a couple of people build a six-figure income online and a six-figure brick and mortar business. So I know business and you can, tr you can count on me. You can trust me and you can count on me to know what I'm doing. And I, I always stay fresh. I always learning. I'm always out there, just like my company. I'm on the cutting edge, all right? Just like I'm here with you today. A lot of people wouldn't be on here talking. They're scared to death to get on here. And I was like, if it can, can take me to where I wanna go, I will learn it. Not only will I learn it, I will master it. And I can help you master it too, all right? So that's another reason why me. And the final reason why me is because you're going to get so much more by joining me and my team. You're going to get all the coaches that I've ever paid for. And honey, I paid for some good ones. You're going to get all the mentors that I've, I've connected with. And yes, I have had some, some powerhouses pour into me and mentor me. You're going to get all the classes that I've, I've taken. And I am a learning fanatic. School is never out for the professional. And I don't take that for granted. I'm real, real clear about that. You are not only going to get that, but you're going to get my mistakes. And what do I mean by that? That means that I share the things that didn't work, the things that I stumbled on. So you don't have to make the same mistakes I did. All right. And you're going to get my experiences. As I said, I've been around the block a few times. I've seen a few things. I've learned how to build this business from parties. I've learned how to build this business from just customer service. I've learned how to build this business from just doing samples and catalogs. And I've learned how to build this business online. All right. So you're going to get all of that when you get me. And the final thing is you are going to get my heart because I promise you, I bring my heart to everything I do. Okay. And you can ask anybody who know me and they will tell you, oh yeah, she's the real deal. I bring my heart no matter what no matter what. And my heart is fully focused on helping you get what you want. It's not about me. It's about helping you get what you want. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I talked about some reasons why I believe my company is one of the best ones out there. I've already talked about why the industry is one of the best, best options available. OK, so if some of you on here are in the direct sales and multi-level marketing industry and you um, are in another company, kudos for you. OK, because the, my company, I do know that it's not a fit for everybody, but I know that it's a fit for somebody. OK, so if you found a company that's a good fit for you, look here, 
go get it, all right? Determine that you are going to learn whatever you need to learn to get to where you want to get to, all right? And don't, don't be afraid of the mistakes or the setbacks. It's part of the climb, all right? And so um, thank you for listening to me tonight. I really appreciate, as I said, the people who are here live, Elliot, um, Demetrius, Katie, Sue Ann, Tracy, Micah. Um, and I just want, and the people who listen on the replay, I hope my heart came through in what I said tonight. And um, if you have questions, send me a private message. I'll be happy to answer them. Because even though tonight was about stories, you know, you've heard that facts, tales, stories sell. I like to think that facts, tale, and stories prove. So yes, I do use stories because they prove a point. They prove that this is doable and it's real and it's not a hoax. And so even though I, 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 can't, I came tonight with, with some stories, what I want you to know is I also know all the facts. So if you want to have a private conversation, and you're the kind of person that needs the facts, I got them for you. Let's talk. I promise you this. I won't harass you. I won't hound you. I won't be after you. I'll give you the facts and let you make your own decision. All right. So that's all I have for tonight. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all of you. And um, I look forward to um, chatting with you again. And I promise it will be sooner rather than later. Until then, I bid you good night.